What's up, fitness athletes? It's Chris Heria. Today, we're gonna to be doing a workout to strengthen our lower backs and reduce or even completely eliminate lower back pain if that's something you're experiencing. And we're gonna be doing this whole entire routine with just our own body weight. So you can do this absolutely anywhere. Lower back pain is very common and the causes for this can be anything from an injury to your back, having a weak lower back or weak muscles surrounding the lower back, or even a sudden movement without warming up properly. Now, exercises that are gonna treat and reduce your lower back pain, as well as strengthening your lower back, usually focuses on strengthening your flexors, your extensors, which are basically engaged through abdominal exercises where you bring your knees to your chest, and your oblique muscles to help reinforce the support of your spine, but your hamstrings and your glutes can also be a cause of back pain as well. Tight or even weak glutes create tension on your back, caused by your glutes pulling or putting strain on your back. So both strengthening and increasing the flexibility of your glutes will help release that tension. And the same thing goes for hamstrings. Having tight or even weak hamstrings can negatively affect the alignment of your spine, causing discomfort and pain in your back. That's why warming up before and stretching out after your workout is just as important as doing your workout. So that's how we're gonna strengthen our lower back as well as eliminate and prevent lower back pain, focusing on our flexors, extensors, glutes, hamstrings, and our lower back with today's workout. We're gonna be doing eight exercises for 40 seconds each. And with every exercise, I want you focusing on the quality of each repetition. Don't worry about how many reps you're doing. Just focus on your range of motion, the quality of your muscle contractions, and your time under tension. And between each exercise, we'll have a 20 second break. So if you're ready to get started, as I said before, this workout takes absolutely no equipment. The only thing you'll need is a chair, a table, a couch, or any other elevated surface that you can lay over and hold onto. If you have that ready to go, all you need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store so that you can have this workout on your phone and you can properly follow along. Open up to the YouTube workout section. You should be able to find this routine. Check out the warm up at the top of the workout. Definitely do it if you're not warmed up yet. And if you are, smash the like button and we're ready to get started. Starting off with the first exercise, we're gonna be strengthening and stretching our glutes, which is a supporting muscle to our lower back with glute bridge for 40 seconds, which also engages our lower back as well. So let's get down on the ground into a laying position. Heels flat on the ground, hands back. We're gonna drive our heels into the ground, raise our hips up, squeeze those glutes, come right back down. Remember, you don't wanna focus on how many you're doing. You wanna focus on the quality of the contraction, your range of motion, and your time under tension. Halfway there. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, last one. Give it a nice good stretch. All right. We're gonna move on to another exercise that's gonna stretch and strengthen another muscle group supporting your lower back, which is your hamstrings with good mornings, which is a low impact exercise that's great for warming up and starting off your workout, especially if you're already experiencing lower back pain. It's also gonna give you a good stretch in your lower back as well. So you want your feet shoulder width apart, hands on her head, big chest. You wanna put your glutes and your hips out like you're gonna spot a chair to sit down on. Come right back up. Nice and down flat. Come right back up, squeezing contracting the whole time. It's not a squat. You wanna feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Squeeze your core. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now the next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna strengthen another supporting muscle group for our lower back, our oblique muscles, which help reinforce support of our spine. We're gonna be hitting our obliques with side planks. So let's get down on the ground, strike from a push position, bend one arm, go to the side. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one side, then we're gonna switch over and do another 20 seconds. Just make sure you're squeezing, keeping that contraction, keeping those hips raised. You have your hand on your side. Five, four, three, squeeze, two, and one. Switch over. Make sure those hips are nice and high. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 
we are flying through this routine. We have one more exercise that's gonna strengthen another supporting muscle group for our lower back, our extensors and our flexors, which we'll be engaging with laying knee raises. So let's get into a laying position. Legs straight out, hands beside us. Bring your knees all the way in. Straight back out. All the way up to your chest, right back out. Of course, if having your hands beside you is too difficult, you can always put them underneath you. But for a real challenge, put them beside you. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Let's get one more. Last one. All right. The last four exercises were low impact that pretty much everybody can do. That will also treat and prevent lower back pain because we're emphasizing on the supporting muscle groups for our lower back. But now we're gonna focus on exercises that strictly build strength in our lower back. With the next exercise coming up, tuck reverse leg raises. So you're gonna hold on to any surface. You wanna bring your knees in and tucked. Come all the way out, squeeze right back in. Halfway there, pace yourself. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, there we have the tuck reverse leg raise. You should definitely be feeling that in your lower back. This is a super effective exercise. This can be done on the side of a couch, chair, a table, anything that you can lay and hold on to. Next, we're gonna move on into a tuck reverse leg hold for 15 seconds, twice with the 10 second break in between. Get down to position, tuck your legs, squeeze up, knees in, and hold. Squeeze your lower back. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Wait 10 seconds. Five, four, three. Get into position. Two, bring them up. Squeeze. I like to stay looking forward. It engages even more of my back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Moving on, we're gonna be doing reverse leg flutters from the same position. Remember, you don't wanna be straining or even speeding through this. That's why we're not lifting heavy weight for a reason. We're trying to really create a strong foundation for our lower back. So let's get into position. From here, we're gonna lift our legs up and just leg flutter. We're gonna go for 15 seconds, stop, and then do another 15 seconds after. Last 10 seconds. The higher you lift your leg, the more you engage your lower back and your glutes as well as your hamstrings. Three, two, and one. Bring them down, 10 second break. If this is too difficult, you can always just hold that position instead of leg flutter. Let's get back to the position. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we just have one last exercise to go. We're gonna finish off this routine with plank alternating toe taps, emphasizing on our core, lower back, glutes, and hamstrings. Let's get down to a plank position. From this position, squeeze your core. You wanna bring your leg up, squeeze the glute, tap. Come right back to the middle, squeeze the glute, tap. Come right back. The higher you lift, the more you're engaging lower back, glutes. There you go. This is the last one. I want you to make it count. Squeeze. Focus on your quality. Perfect form. Make sure your hips are at a good position. Not too low, not too high. Last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and last one. There we have it. 
We just killed this lower back routine and my lower back feels pumped, supported, and super strong right now. If you were able to get through this routine with me, congratulations. Not only are you preventing and eliminating back pain, but you're also strengthening your lower back, which is gonna strengthen your core and allow you to apply more strength in your lifts, which is gonna build more muscle. So congratulations for getting through it. Make sure to come back to this routine weekly if you can. And the more you do it, the stronger you're gonna get. Eventually you'll be able to go for more rounds. To benefit the most out of this routine, you wanna be able to do it for at least two to three rounds. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the video or learned something, please smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm share our videos to more people out there that actually need it. So to show our appreciation, if you comment down below within 30 minutes of any upload, you always have a chance to win some Thenix gear. So make sure you subscribe with notifications on right now if you haven't already so that you never miss an opportunity, you never miss an upload. We post every single Sunday, 8 p.m. USC Eastern time. And if you have a friend or family member that's experiencing back pain, please send them this video. And remember to get this workout on your phone so that you can schedule it at any moment and get on top of your training, start programming your workouts, then download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store. Get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides teaching you the most advanced exercises step by step with ease like the muscle up, full planche, human flag, and so much more as well as daily workouts to constantly challenge you sent to your phone every single day and join the millions of other Thenix athletes getting in the best shape of their lives using the Thenix app around the world. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have a great idea or you'd like to see something in the next video, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you next Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. Mad love and peace out.